here. So, where is the whiteboard? Oh. Let me tell you something about our ear, okay? So the ear, the one that you see outside ito, is this, this what you call the pinna. This pinna is like a thumb mark. It is unique to you. It's just like a signature. Okay? Walang dalawang tao in the world na magkaparehas ang curves or ang shape ng outer ear. But this ear extends inward. This is what you see the outer line nakikita natin. There's this what we call middle ear and the inner ear. Okay? So, you will all, often see this. And later on, we will look at the mixer when we show you paano namin ginagalaw yung mga tunog ninyo. And you can see here, this graph here, that's what you call the equalizer. It's similar to this graph. 20 hertz, 20 kilohertz. Okay, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, ito ho yung frequency range na naririnig ng ating tenga. This is the low frequency, this is the mid, and this is the high frequency region. The vocal, the human vocal uh, sound resides here in the mid frequency. Yung kick drum ho at saka itong bass, it's the low frequency, it resides here in this region, the low frequency region. Keys and guitars share this same region here. And then yung mga cymbals that you see sa drums goes way beyond here in this region. Dogs and bats, their frequency range extends far, far beyond the 20 kilohertz. Ata, sa atin ho, hanggang 20 kilohertz. Actually, when you reach 24, that's the peak. And then it slowly declines. Ang unang nawawala sa hearing natin is the high frequency. Yan ang unang nawawala as we age. And 100 hertz and below, 100 hertz and below, hindi na po natin narinig yan. It's more on nararamdaman na lang natin. Okay, so... Um, the voice resides here together with the keys and guitar. So, when you talk about the low frequency, the way it is produced, itong mga subwoofers na yan, it is omnidirectional. In all, free, in all, in all sides, nagbubuga ho ito ng low frequency. Yung kick drum, yung bass. So may sound din ho yan dito. And even kung nakasuspend to pati sa ilalim. Now, as we go from as we go from low to mid to high, from being omnidirectional, it now becomes nagiging directional na siya. As we go from low, it, it starts to go directional here, and then this is very pinpoint accuracy na yung, yung tinatawag natin ito. The high frequency drivers. Yan na nagpuproduce ng high frequency. So what, why is this important to guitar players and keyboard players? The guitar and the keyboard mainly produces mid-frequency, nakikipag-away sa region ng vocals. So being directional, where you point your amp, doon ang concentration ng sound. So where is this amp pointed at? So expect na yung first few rows ng ating congregation are being bombarded by the guitar. Okay, so where you point your amp is very important. If I were to fix this, the ideal direction is and you should be playing like this. Ito, dapat naka-angle towards your ear. If this is angled towards your ear, you would be playing as a lesser volume. Hindi dapat ito yung pumubuga sa congregation. Ang dapat narinig ng congregation is the front of house. Dapat doon lumalabas yung sound being controlled by the sound tech. Do not bombard the congregation with your amps. Same thing with the keyboard because this is the mid-frequency then. Okay? 
um, keyboard and guitar players, when you choose your patches, yung mga patches ninyo dito, distortion, um, wawa, or whatever, yung mga patches, it, sound, it may sound good here, but consult your sound technician because it may sound horrible in the front of the house. Ibig sabihin, coordination. Always coordinate with your sound tech. Kung ano yung patches na, oy ang ganda ng tunog, tunog ko dito, pero pakinggan natin sa house. Okay, how can we make it better sounding in the front of house? Always coordinate because if you sound good here, but you sound crappy there, you'd be a, uh, you don't look good on stage. Instead, instead of people worshiping you, people will be going, ow. Okay, so be careful where you point your amp. Be careful in choosing your patches. Always coordinate with the sound tech. Bass guitar player. Okay. So we have here a bass amp. And this, this can easily produce SPL sound pressure levels that can match the power of your, of your subwoofer. Kung gaano katapang to, this can actually produce the same or more power just here on stage. Okay, so, bass players. Okay, okay. Be careful with your volume. How you set your volume, why? Something funny about um, bass play, uh, no, bass, bass frequencies. And dito yung amp nyo. Okay? Now, sound has a physical dimension. Let me explain that to you. Break it down. Ang sound, yung sound wave na tinatawag, has a physical dimension. Meron ho yung length. Yung tinatawag natin na wavelength. Ang isang cycle, yan. From here to here, meron ho yung measurement. Okay, so for example, the A note here, the A note ng open A ng bass guitar, that's around, ang isang cycle niyan, that's around uh, 13 feet long. So when you produce an open A here, boom, 13 feet away, isang cycle pa lang yun. So why is that important? Okay? Katabi mo yung bass amp mo. You're playing your bass. And then, gusto mong maramdaman yung earth, yung pan shaking na sound wave. Gusto nyo umaalog talaga yung ano eh. Okay? And I understand. I have been interviewing bass players for how many years. Bakit pa gusto nyo yung ano? Why? Because, again, Low frequency going down below here, below 100, cannot be heard. It can be felt. Especially kung naka 5 string ka, itong pinakamataba dito, makukonfirm mo yung note, not only in hearing but also in feeling. So kinakailangan nilang maramdaman. We understand that. However, pagka sa katabi mo yung bass amp mo, mm, hindi mo mararamdaman yung full brunt ng base mo. You know why? Katabi mo siya, pag nag-generate ka ng signal, it hasn't generated even a single wavelength. Nagsisimula pa lang mag-generate yan. Hindi mo mararamdaman yung buo, yung buo nito. But, you go back there, more than 13 feet, pluck your bass guitar, yung dip dip mo, kumaalog yan. Iba ang tunog ng bass guitar, ng bass notes, here, and over there, or 13 feet away, where it has generated more than one complete cycle. So please, before you crank up that volume, think of Lolo uh, right there behind. Na gusto mag, hindi niya ano kung saan siya magtatago dahil hindi, hindi niya pinabayuhan ng bass guitar niya. Why? Because it has now, 13, 20 feet away, it has now generated more. Naka-full cycle na siya mas buo, mas mabigat na yung tunog mo. Okay? And, 
if you put the sub the cabinet, you elevate it, you put it, you lose acoustical power. Hmm. If you want more acoustical power, put it on the floor, just like the subwoofer. Hmm. If you put it, elevate it, nababawasan siya ng acoustical power. Okay. If you want it more powerful, put it on the floor. Okay? And even sa likod nito, may buga yan. E, omnidirectional ang bass. Okay? So this will produce sub and bass frequencies. Be careful with your volume. Consider Lolo or Lola who are, who are at the back and gusto na magtago. So please, that's for the bass guitar player. Now for the drummer, uh, before po ako naging sound tech, I originally came from as a backup singer and then I gradually got into playing drums and percussions. Nung nagsawa na ako nung kagagawa ng ingay, I went behind the board to control the ingay. So, of all the instruments on stage, the bass, uh, the, the drums, is the most covered niya from here hanggang dito in terms of frequency range. So from your from your hi hat, that's high frequency cymbal. Hanggang sa mid frequency, that's the snare. And the low frequency, the bass, from to your kick, to your kick drum. So, from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, covered niya. Now, um, unfortunately, acoustical drums, hindi mo malalamdaman, it has to be played a certain way. Okay, for it to be really, para lumabang. Okay, can you please turn off the kick the monitor speaker here, para hindi namin. Very subjective sa dynamics ang drums. If you hit it like may tunog pero hindi hindi mo mararamdaman yung real voice ng snare. Pero pag pinalo mo siya ng rim shot kasama yung rims you hear the difference? Compared to mas buo yung tunog niya dahil because the shell is now resonating together with the skin. Now, however, that it, the entire drum kit can generate 110 dB on its own, 110 decibels, and that is too loud for the, especially for the first few rows of the congregation. How do you control now? Hindi mo pwede yung sabi na ay magminor ka dahil nawawala yung feel. Um, I need a, a, a small cloth. Uh, May sino may panyo or pimpo or uh, a towel that I can power for a few seconds. So how do you control this? Number one, use smaller sticks. The smaller the sticks, the lesser the impact. Or meron mo tayong yung tawag na yung rods, parang balisting thing. Same, ano, same dynamics, but lesser impact on the on the snare drum. Can I have that? Just for a few seconds, I will show you with very simple solutions. Hindi ka gagasos ng daan daan libo. How to control from that? Just take this over. Is there a big difference in terms of volume and sound quality? Yes. So, just one way of reducing the, the sound, you can work on that. You hindi na sa suffer yung playability ng drummer, but the sound output nagbabago na lelesen. Aside from the the drum shield with a with a cage. Now, your choice of Sizes, I would rather recommend if you're going to buy your new drum kit or a, a church plan. It's, it's just a kick and the snare. Inihingi ng singers. Or sometimes, pag gusto niya rin yung other elements, I, the overhead because it picks up the entire, entire kit. 
the lesser things you have in your in ear or in your monitor, the better you are in sorting your voice throughout the mix. Okay? So you need to have a time reference. Ano yung nagtitiktik ng time? Sometimes, if the drummer is very steady, mga season drummers, kahit yung the hi-hat will be enough. Yes. Pero pag bagitong drummer, medyo malaro, uh, medyo hindi advisable yung hi-hat. So you have your S, yourself, time, and you have your P for pitch reference. Something that will dictate the pitch. And normally, this is the instrument that drives the song. Ano yung driver ng song? Is it the piano or is it the guitar? It depends on the song. Yon. So yun yung magdidictate kung ano yung, and you need to especially singers. Okay, di ba? So, purpose ng monitor is for you to be in time and on pitch. Yung po ang purpose. Kaya hindi lahat dapat ilagay sa monitor mo. Ano lang yung nagdidictate ng time and pitch? And siyempre yourself. And lastly, optional, especially if you do uh, multiple voices, H. I have had vocalist, sir, pa, ano, yung soprano on my ear or on my monitor. Dahil dun sila nagka-counter yung mga alto. So if you do harmony, you have to hear everybody else, also yung mga vocalist sa, sa mix. So these are the items that you should have in your all others that don't fall under this category please do not ask for them in your monitor okay na na nangyayari na ba sa inyo na nagtutugtugan and then you have your monitor mix in front of you and then hindi mo pa rin ma-linig yung bosses mo so you tell the tech lakas ang kanya. Hindi mo pa na yung marinig. Second signal. Hanggang sa kinataasan niya, then pumipito na, nagkikitback na. When that happens, ibig sabihin, your your voice coming out is being picked up by, by the microphone and then it's going around, looping already, oscillating, ang tawag po doon feedback. Na-reach niyo na yung maximum na kayang ibuga ng system dahil nagliliki na dito at umiikot na. So, in that sense, what do you need? Do you really need volume? No. Instead of asking for volume Nine. in your monitor, ask for... Sir, clarity. pwede yung dagdagan mo yung mid oh, clarity. ng bosses ko sa monitor, and I'll show you how. So, for vocalists, check one, two, so this is my microphone. Okay, let's... And this is now what happens. Ito yung paano namin kinakalikot yung signal ninyo. Very quickly. Okay. Okay, uh, hindi, hindi nagre-reflect yung, ano, nag-change yung... Okay, um, sir, can you, can you flatten the EQ? Flatten the EQ ng no, ano. Pag-i-flat yung EQ ko and disable the high-pass filter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's good. And then go to the, ano, go to the gain. Can you show us the gain? Yan. So, and then put it on zero. Ano? Pinaka, yan. So, during sound check, this is what we do. Ma'am, please sing. And when we ask you to sing, give it performance level. Yon. What yung sound check? One, two, one, two. Okay, this is what happens. Why do we ask for performance level? So that 
the signal is now healthy coming in the mixer. Watch, if I don't do a performance level. Sound check, one, two, one, two, sige pa, dagdag pa, sound check, one, two, one, two, check, check. Okay, hanggang yan na lang yun. So, medyo na shy ako. Sound check, one, two. Tapos, pagdating na ng... Performance. Tapos na, ano, praise and worship, ang general congregation, adrenaline sets in. Anong nangyari? Nagpula na tayo. Ibig sabihin, pag pumula na yan, the incoming sound is too much for the circuit. You're frying the circuit. Ayun, nag-o-over na siya doon, no? So that's what happens. So, nakaset na yung monitor natin during rehearsal. Tapos pag actual, makikita namin na nag-o-over tayo nasusunog yung circuit namin. What do we do? We back down the game. Nagbago yung monitor. Ang feeling mo ngayon, sinasabotahe ka. <laughs> Ganit ka ngayon sa sound check. Diba? So please, pag sinami natin performance level during sound check. Performance level. So, sir, back it down to zero again. The game. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Back down pa, back down. Medyo nag-over time. Yeah! Yeah! So, check. Two, one, two. Yeah! Give it up for God! Kung ganun kayong mag-worship beat, during sound check, we expect the same level so that we can set the game properly. So that pag sumigaw ka sa actual, Yeah! Woo! Hindi tayo nag-over. Hindi na pagbago yung monitor ninyo. Nice! So get to one. The thing is... The thing is... Since I'm not here, I'm not conscious to you. Dahil kayo lang yung kumakanta you give us a false level which will later on be disastrous for you in the actual performance, di ba? Nice. So can you please give us an actual performance level during soundcheck pa lang? Yes! Okay! So doon pa lang, doon pa lang we've nailed one very big problem already. Okay, after setting the game, ano naman ang pinitihin namin? Let's go to the EQ. Sir, pakilabas yung EQ. Ay, hindi ko, hindi ko, hindi ko ma... I can't control it here. Yan, nasa EQ na ako, pero... Okay, so now it's flat. The first thing I do while you're singing on stage is that, again, the human voice is in the mid-frequency. Wala nang human voice that goes as 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 far below down as hun hundred. Guys, guys, you know this. Hindi aabot ng hundred hertz yung bosses mo kano ka baba. So everything. What if masadong malikot yung ano natapat ako dito sa bass player? So yung bass na binubuga nito kung asok sa microphone ko, mam ano muffling my sound. And I don't need that information in my mic or natapat ako dito, that kick drum leaks into the microphone. So, ang gagawin namin, sa EQ, we activate the high pass filter. Yan. So, nakita ninyo? Nag naging green to. Ibig sabihin, 180 hertz and below, tinatanggal na natin yan, nililinis na natin. I don't need that information. Okay? Next, after tinanggal natin yung, ano, High pass filter. Again, the center of the human voice is in 2K, 2000 hertz. Male or female, ito yung pinaka center frequency. I give this a little bit of bump. 
konting pump na siguro mga 1.5 to 2 dB. Sir, ito, pakilagay ito dito. High mid. And then give it a little bit of check. 1, 2, 2. Notice, medyo naging mas klaro yung boses ko. Di ba? Okay. Bring it down to zero again. Check. 1, 2, 2, 2. Okay. Bring it up. Positive V. Check. 1, 2, 2. So, di ba nag-improve yung intelligibility nung mas naging klaro yung boses ko. And this, you do not need volume in your monitor. Pataas na kayo ng pataas, nag-feedback na, hindi volume ang kailangan ninyo. Clarity. You need to have more mid. This is what will make your voice cut through the mix on stage. So, pag taas, 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 tapos hindi nyo na may malinig. It's not volume that you need. More mid in your monitor. Okay? So, a little bit of mid and then check one, two. Medyo boom, boomy pa rin yung ano. Sometimes, especially for the male, high pass filter, please. Itong 200 to 500, medyo pinabawasan ko din to. So, yung low mid, let's put it here. And then let's bring it down a bit, mga 1.5. Yeah, okay. So, tatanggalin lang natin konti yung medyo muddiness or boominess sa voice ninyo. Especially the male. Okay? Pero kung female, medyo tunog ipis, or manipis, ibig, manipis yung voices. You know, I don't do that. I, I make, I, pwedeng lagyan ko lang konting bump. Okay? So, inanggal natin yung low, ilagyan natin ang high mid, and then yung low mid, medyo control it a little bit. For worship leaders, I must make a, as, I must make a distinction between my, my VIPs, pastors and worship leaders, against the backup. Sa backup singers, I don't do this, bring it down to zero again, I don't bump this up. Flat lang yan for, for backup singers. But for worship leaders, kinakailangan upfront kayo. So, yung, yung tinatawag natin ng mga S-words, yung mga sibilance, dapat pronounce yun. Yung clarity ng voice ninyo is in the high frequency. Ang tawag dito, high frequency, clarity, air. So, I just bumped that a bit, mga 3 dB, sound check, sound. Sound. Okay, uh, a, a little bit push here, so mga 8, 8K. Sound check, check, test, 1, 2. Di ba mas, yung mga sibilans ko mas klaro? And this will make your voice more, give your voice more presence. Mm -hmm. Now, to distinguish the vocalist from the worship leader from the backup, yung backup hindi ko binabump yung high frequency. Just to create contrast. Andun pa rin yung boses ninyo nalilinig, pero hindi kayo nakikipag-away ng frequent, ng high frequency with the worship leaders. Okay? okay? So, unang ginagalaw natin is gain and then the EQ. Okay? And then, let's go to the compressor. Kanina, may napansin ako isang song na during the during the song, worship song, medyo Uh, mababa yung intro. Hmm. Almost hindi mo na mano. Or sometimes yung mga R&B singers, Mariah or Whitney, ah, yung mga pulot-pulot nila sa ano, ah, hindi nyo na-notice sa mga albums nila, although pulot-pulot lang yon pero it's very clear. Okay? Pero when pag sumigaw sila, ah, it's not lasting your ears. That's the job of the compressor. Okay. Can you please turn off the compressor? Turn it off. Yan. So, without the compressor, ito yung boses ko. Pag bigla kong sumigaw, Yeah! It's gonna blast your ears. Yung, in, a, in, a good, uh, in, in a good way, because yung mga tulog sa congregation nag-iising. <laughs> Pero yung mga kising na, ayaw mong mabasag yung tenga nila. Okay, let's turn on the compressor. And then, ito yung ating incoming signal. Ito yung ating outgoing. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Um, 
bring it down yung ano yung threshold to around lower pa so ang ginagawa ko ng compressor it makes your soft passages loud and your loud passages soft so it doesn't all it almost doesn't matter whether you whisper or you shout hindi nagbabago yung almost little change in your volume and this is yung kanina medyo nagising kayo so now let's do the do it okay uh, medyo negative third taas pa ng konti check two yan okay um, we'll start at 2.1 and then gain it up ang mga 8 Ah, zero, zero muna yung gain. Okay na to? Zero muna yung gain. Yan. So without the gain, uh, Yeah! Medyo bitin yung shout ko. Okay, gain it up mga around 7. 7 dB. So, kumbaga, gain up natin yung compressor ng 7 dB. So, ngayon, when I whisper, Dinig na dinig yung every nuance ng aking whisper. Pero pag sumigaw ako, Yeah! Nice. Mag Compress. Nagising ba yung mga patay? Hindi. Didn't hurt your ears? No. But you knew that I shouted, pero I did not, I wasn't shouting in your ear. Di ba? So it manages your dynamic level. Yes. Kahit mag-whisper ka. Yeah! Di ba? Notice the difference. Turn it off. The compressor. Yeah! So, yeah, po, kaya may, sa, most of the time, ang ingay ng worship team, ang lakas na kas na, ang wala ganito na gawin. It's because we do not know how to use the compressor. So, if you turn it on, and if you enjoy the, you know, I mean, I'm almost whispering right now, but can you hear what I'm saying? Yes. And when I shout, it's not lasting your ears. Hanapin niyo po ito sa inyong mga sound technician. Uh, sino may digital board in your, ano? All digital boards, lahat ng input meron yan, individual compressors. Learn how to, ano, ask your sound tech to learn how to use that. And hanapin niyo yun, it'll be your best friend when you, when you perform on stage. So now you know that there is such a thing as a compressor. After the compressor, then we go now to the fader and then gain it. Ilalabas na namin yung signal ninyo. Hanggat hindi namin sinasabing Stop. stop. Do not stop singing. Because all of those things, ina-adjust po namin. Every singer, every performer, especially the drums, ilan yan? We have the kick, the snare, toms, toms, overhead. Isang instrument, ilang elements yan. So please be patient with your sound tech and give him performance level when you do your... Ano. So that's what you call sound check. Yan ho yung ginagawa namin how to optimize your voices, especially the singers. Okay? So, the backup, sing the, the, excuse me, the backup singers, <laughs> hindi ko, hindi ko ginigain up yung compressor. Just to create a, uh, ano, a separation between the worship leader and the backup. Dapat yung singer, yung worship leader, in your face, yung vocals. The backup singer, and that's what creates the separation, aside from the EQ and the volume. Okay? Now, who wants to have reverb in your monitor? Singers. Just in case, some singers, I'm sir, can I have reverb in my, gusto ko malinig yung reverb sa monitor ko. Ang tendency pag nilagyan natin ng reverb yung boses ninyo sa monitor, lumulubog po yung, lumulubog yung boses ninyo. It sounds farther away rather than in your face. That's what reverb does. For the singers, 
I uh, for the backup singers I add more reverb para dumubog yung backup. sa background yung voices ng backup singers. The worship leaders lesser reverb para in your face para magkaroon ng separation. Okay. So those are the things that we do to your voices. My idea na po ba kayo? Yes. Okay. So do you now know the difference? Sir, paki turn off na yung EQ and compressor ng channel na to. So without all of those uh, processors turned off, with all of those processors turned off. This is what the microphone sounds like raw. Sound check one, two, three, four. Turn on the EQ and the compressor. Sound check one, two. It sounds better. So, yan ho yung clarity. Look for intelligibility. Look for clarity. Clarity, ibig sabihin, yung yung bass. May, may bass ka, may, may sibilance ka. Intelligibility, ibig sabihin, kada syllable, kada consonant and vowel, klarong-klaro sa monitor mo and in the house. Okay, so now you know what to look for in your monitor, in your performance, sa front of house. Yes. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Now, one thing that we're also doing for, ano, uh, when I was first contacted by Pastor Julius Fabregas to work on the v, uh, VMMC, and we're standardizing, ang gusto kasi ng, ano, ng and leadership is when you visit one center to the other, consistent who yung ating sound experience, yung quality natin, ng sound natin. So we're going for standardization. But before we go into standardizing the equipment, the first thing that I ask the leadership is, um, how do you expect uh, victory worship to sound like? Have you asked that among your team? Have you gathered your team, your worship team, your band? And then have you have you asked yourselves, how do we want to sound like as a worship team? That everything should will start from there. If you do not know how you you're supposed to sound like, um kaya nagkakaroon ng when you jump from one center to another, iba iba yung tono because there's no there's no unifying factor. So um, amongst yourselves, I encourage you to gather together and then do what you call a listening experience. Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, buong banda. Each band member will have a, an, uh, a song, yung favorite song niya that he's listening to right now. So it may be a Christian, a Christian album, a Christian song, and then just each and everyone will, will play their, their song and then tell us what you like about that song. Brad, yung, yung snare drum nitong song na to, ito yung pinakagusto kong snare drum. Then you work together with your sound tech how to actually achieve that sound of the snare drum in the front of house. That's what we call a listening experience. Brad, ito yung pakinggan mo tong, itong singer na to. Ito yung gusto kong maging boses ko. Pero, wag naman who ask for the impossible na, okay? Magkaroon lang tayo ng peg. That's one activity that you could do as a team and then discuss amongst your team, how do we want to sound like as a team? Until you discuss that, wala tayong direction na patutunguhan. Pagdating sa, sa sound tech, wala rin ho akong, I have no peg to go for. So, anything goes. So, that's one, just one thing that I would just like to um, throw to you guys as you uh, do your rehearsals or your, your practice time. Do what we call a listening uh, session with your with your team and your it's a one way of um, knowing everybody musically. Kung ano yung mga, we have a guitar player before na ano, <clears throat> ang tugtuga namin was um, an old hymn na Holy, Holy, Holy <laughs> So, medyo yung pala, nung during our listening session, sinasalang niya lagi, ano, Ying, Ying Wing Mom's Team. Parang Steve Vai. Parang mga ganun yung mga trip niya. So, nakilala na, ah, kaya pala ganun yung mga riff mo. Ano, and then we made some adjustment later on. Okay. Um, 
Have you learned something new today about how you should sound? Yes. Like? Okay. Pakitandaan lang po performance level during sound check that will give us a lot of uh, ease in our ano, in our job as we do our ministry. Any question po so far? And actually, that's, that, uh, that's what I have. And uh, at least it, I was able to take, uh, uh, give you a glimpse of what we do, how we do what we do. And there's a lot more to that. Ito lang yung pinaka-core talaga. How we produce your sound. Any question po? Before we proceed again with Pastor Joel.